Hi, today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about this fast that we're doing. It's easy for us to get caught up in the what are we eating, what are we not eating, what are we watching or not watching, are all of the answers that we're seeking God for. But a fast can really be life-changing when we ask ourselves some different questions. We don't wanna just say, I'm going to give up this food and obsess over these other foods. We wanna obsess over Christ. We want to crowd out all the things that we might turn to with more of Him. We want to not feast on sugar, instead just to feast on vegetables, but to feast on Christ and His Word. I want to imagine for a minute your hardest day. Things are going bad, your kids are acting up, your boss is getting on to you, you're stuck in traffic, maybe you had another fight with your spouse. What is that thing that you're craving, that you turn to, that you're seeking to make you feel better? Isaiah 26.3 says, You will keep in perfect peace all those who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. So in thinking through your fast, what are your thoughts fixed on? What are the things you turn to, run to, lean on when things are hard? Is it sugar? Is it coffee? Fast food? Social media? TV? Video games? Shopping? What are those coping mechanisms that you run to when things are hard? Fasting is not just taking away those things, but filling the void they leave with Christ. Where do you go when you feel empty to fill you up? What do you turn to when you're exhausted to give you strength? Where do you turn to feel in control when everything around you feels out of control? Now, which of those things can you set aside so that there's room for Christ to fill you, to be your strength, and to teach you that He's in control? If you are thinking of something and the idea of being without that thing for 40 days seems impossible, that's probably the perfect thing. Because when you can't, God can. When we are weak, He is strong. A lyric from a song I really like says, what looks to me like weakness is a canvas for your strength. So fix your thoughts on Him, create space in your life, and fill it with Him. Give Him the canvas of your weakness and watch what He can paint with His strength.